Or have you ever waited in line at home affairs, a licensing office, or even your local council? Now, the Public Service Administration Department is promising to ensure more efficient government services. It has launched its Integrated Public Service Month. Minister Ayanda Toto says this, of course, uh, rather this year's focus is on providing more quality services, combating corruption, as well as fighting the coronavirus pandemic. So let's get that discussion going with the minister uh, who joins us now. Minister Toto, thank you for your time and a very warm good morning to you. Take us through the Public Service Month, uh, you know, uh, launch and what it aims to do. I understand uh, from a bit of research that this is all uh, to provide better quality service to South Africans. Thank you very much, uh, ma'am. I think Public Service Month is really a month that reminds us as public servants of our responsibility to society in doing the right thing and ensuring that uh, we continuously live by what the principles of Matupili actually are. Left which posits that the state of development of a nation or, so or society hinges on political purpose and institutional structures. Now this then calls for a scientifically, uh, for us to scientifically determine uh, whether these institutional structures are fit for purpose and whether or not uh, they are properly configured so as to meet the demands of the country that continues to shed jobs where the inequality gap grows almost on a daily basis mm. and also where poverty continues to dog us. Yeah. I think one of the challenges, though, for you, Minister, in your department would be corruption and the involvement of public officials who are involved in corruption or alleged to be involved in corruption. Uh, I think that that's a challenge that would pose to your uh, you know, a strategy and aspirations through this uh, Public Service Month uh, you know, uh, launch. And I'm saying this because just recently we heard the news about some home affairs officials being implicated uh, in the Bushiris, uh, you know, retaining their permanent residency in South Africa. How do you plan to uproot a, a corruption rather uh, particularly not only in your department but you know in government overall well I, I do not plan only to deal with the issues of corruption because corruption really is an indication of a system that is not properly functioning for the, for corruption to happen at the, at, the, at the levels at which it does it means that the systems in themselves are weak and everything starts with, 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 uh, with planning. We all agree that the policies are good enough to take us out of the rut and morass of a stagnant economy um, and uh, no uh, uh, stagnant Minister Lodlo, are you still with us? All right, we seem to have lost you, Minister Ayanda Lodlo. Unfortunately, the Public Service Administration Minister just uh, continue with her point there about the plans they have uh, to uproot uh, corruption in this country. And unfortunately, we got cut off there. Quite an interesting conversation, especially around uh, the announcement of a Public Service Month, which, of course, is to deal better with corruption, but also to focus on providing quality service.